Okay, it's official. We aren't playing the crew too, ladies and gentlemen. We are playing Star Wars. Look at the damn cages, bro. Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is Jaden and welcome back guys to another video on the channel. Today we are playing some more of the crew too. Hence today we are test driving this beautiful damn Maserati concept car, bro. This thing came out in 2014 and as you guys can see, we don't have a top speed. We don't have the horsepower numbers because it is a concept car bro but it does look fan freaking tastic dog it will set us back 774,000 credits and bro this thing is just gonna be insane if you guys haven't yet be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're about that life and let's jump straight into this Maserati bro this might just be the best looking car in my car collection holy shit it kind of looks like a TVR from the back but bro listen to this exhaust note Bro, this thing sounds absolutely insane. And I'm yet to look at the interior, so let's do that right now. And holy shit. Wait, what? Okay, it's official. We aren't playing the crew too, ladies and gentlemen. We are playing Star Wars. Look at the damn cages, bro. Wait, I don't even get that. God damn, man. That's crazy, bro. This thing looks good, sounds good, and is just absolutely insane. But we are gonna see if it's worth that $740,000 price tag. Let's hop straight into the HQ. Bro, fingers crossed that we actually have some visual customization for this thing. I'm hoping, man. We have four front bumpers. Let's see what we have. So we have kind of like the blacked out grill. We have the chrome grill and another blacked out grill. Okay, so this looks to be carbon fiber, if I'm not mistaken. We'll just go with that. Uh, rims, we only have two selections. I'm going to keep it blue. We can change the color of the calipers. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as is. We have wing mirror customization and all this does is blacken it out. That's cool. Rear fenders. Now, this is interesting. All it gives us is a side skirt and it seems to like black out the rear taillights a little bit. So we're gonna go with that. What does it actually do? Now, it blacks out the actual Maserati symbol at the back. Okay. Uh, rear bumpers. This is getting a bit interesting. Okay, that actually looks kind of nice. I'm not gonna lie. I do like the twin pipes. I think we're just gonna blacken it out from the rear and interior we are just gonna leave that as is wow that's actually not too bad bro my question is are we able to do the performance customization it seems like we are so i'm just gonna slap on the best parts that i have currently so with all of that being said do we want to change the color i'm actually a huge fan of the white the silver doesn't look that bad or like the gray uh, we have black red yellow doesn't look that bad at all and then we have kind of like this dark now blue we can actually make it our own color if we want to i think we are going with the yellow man it just it looks so goddamn nice bro that exhaust note will never get old holy shit and this thing's a little rock chip man holy crap we're actually going really damn fast wait what this thing is actually insane whoa okay yep we just crashed a million dollars freaking sports car oh my god dude okay race number one in the maserati hypercar and that that's actually quite interesting because this car is actually a hypercar dude i was honestly expecting it to be a street car but apparently the game says it's a hypercar man listen to that damn exhaust note holy shit bro we just blew away the competition as we should and this thing just sounds absolutely insane it's actually hella loud in my earphones holy shit okay talk about air man we're already doing 150 miles an hour on this racetrack and this thing is just absolutely insane bro wait this this is actually kind of shocking dog i wasn't expecting this thing to be as fast as it is and i also wasn't expecting it to be a damn hypercar dude i honestly thought it was a street car until I tried to enter into a race and then it kind of just kicked me out and changed to the R34. So I tried out a hypercar event and it let me do it. But I don't blame it man because this thing is a freaking fast dog. Usually my go-to hypercar is the Koenigsegg Aguera R. If you guys haven't checked out the video that I made on that, be sure to check it out. But bro, I think I just found my new favorite hypercar. This thing is absolutely insane. And it's sitting quite comfortably at 150 miles an hour. And it also corners really damn well. Bro, I'm actually so surprised at that. 
I wonder what ever happened to this concept car, because I'm not gonna lie to you, man. 2014, I didn't even know this car was a thing. If I'm being honest with you, I didn't know this car was even a thing before I seen it come out in the crew. So I done some research on it, but apparently, yeah, it was a concept car way back in 2014, and it just never got released, bro. I don't know whether Maserati just didn't have the budget for it, or just didn't wanna make it. Okay, wow, okay, yep, that's uh. It's a million dollar hypercar gone in the bin. Yeah, but as I was saying, man, I don't know whether Maserati just didn't have the budget for it or just didn't want to make the car in general for some reason, bro. I don't know why, because I feel like this would have been a smash. But obviously, it didn't come out, man. We're already seeing out here 2021 and Maserati is like nowhere to be seen, bro. The cars are just no more there and I just, I, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe they'll actually give us this. Maybe it just has an electric car, which will suck because this exhaust note is absolutely insane. But uh, you never know, man. You honestly don't. And bro, I'm I'm really surprised at how well this thing handles and how well it holds its speed. Like, definitely isn't the fastest thing out there, but like, cornering-wise, it's actually really damn good. And the yellow paint also looks hella nice. Let's head on into interior view oh crap okay bro I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you bro i wouldn't know when to shift in this thing because those gauges are just trippy as hell dude it's dope though i i, I like it man it's something new it's something different definitely more on the spaceship side of things you know miss Rati taking the whole out of this world car but too literal but that is gonna be a first place stop for the Maserati, bro yeah, it was 3 minutes and 28 seconds. It definitely did not feel like it, man. Holy shit. This thing is absolutely insane. We kind of bashed up the front just a little bit. Holy crap, bro. Look at how damn good this thing looks just rolling down the road, man. It has... Oh, what's really weird about this is it looks like a TVR from the back. It, it literally looks like a futuristic TVR. But I, I don't even know what ever happened to that car brand, man. But uh, this thing is absolutely insane and one thing I do want to do real quick before we end off the video is I want to head over to the tuning and I want to turn traction control all the way down just to see how she's going to handle man. This thing is going to slide like a damn, I mean I don't know what does slide bro, like a freaking FD couch here bro. Oh uh, yeah look at him bro, he he's checking out the Maserati, I, I guarantee it. Bro non-stop wheel spin that. That's kind of to be expected because I feel like we have a crap ton of power right now. And she kind of gets out, bro. Not gonna lie, kind of jiggly on the suspension. Holy shit, okay. Definitely not the best road to try and slide on, but it's something, bro. It definitely is. It still feels super gripped up, though. It definitely does not want to slide. It's not built for sliding. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, clearly not damn built for sliding, but look at the damn view in the Maserati bro that thing just the car in the view bro it just looks absolutely insane and I'm just I'm hyped that the crew freaking brought this guy into the game and he's still bringing cars into the game because obviously the game is now kind of dead it's going towards its end of life period and I know a lot of people still play the crew which is honestly just dope because it, it's an awesome game in general and I just can't wait for the Crew 3, man. That's gonna be absolutely insane. If there even is one, which hopefully there will be, but uh, at the moment, no intel on that. But with all of that being said, guys, thank you all so much for watching. This has been the Maserati with the second name that I can't pronounce. So I'm just gonna say it's a Maserati concept car from 2014 in the Crew 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.